Now this morning as... Now this programme will bring back memories, I guarantee it. It was broadcast in 60 countries and regularly drew 25 million viewers back in the 1970s. What am I talking about? It is, of course, some mothers do have them. And it's back. Yeah, a new play is going to showcase the iconic characters of the original TV series, including, of course, <laughs> the bumbling Frank Spencer with his beret and his trench coat. And our reporter, Jane McCubbin, has been behind the scenes to find out more. The year is 1973. Frank, what are you doing in that cage? I'm trying to get my beret back. Frank, for me, is the quintessential British underdog. Utterly unable to cope in the real world. Yes, he's the man that we, we all love, and we love him for wanting to be better and, and failing in the process. This is why, 51 years on, you're bringing Frank back. We are. I'm Frank. Frank Spencer. The original show was written by Ray Allen in the garden shed at the bottom of his mum and dad's garden. Oh, this is my kitchen. <laughs> but this week, Sam Denyer, the latest incarnation of Frank, will launch Some Mothers Do Have Him at Sirencester's Barn Theatre. Sam, a.k.a. Frank, give us some classic Frankisms. Well, well, I can't cos a ring on my trouble. Oh. Oh. Of course, it was the stunts that made this show so special. You know, he's done a lot of work, as you can see, yeah. um, on the house. Um, everything is as solid as a rock. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> There's lots that can go wrong. And, and it does. And it yeah, does. It's the most comfortable of the lot. Oh, no, no, no. What no. is it? Um, don't worry, Betty, we can cover it up before the BBC arrive. They'll be none the wiser. And despite the chaos, Betty still sticks by him. It is a love story, isn't it? It is, mm. yeah. And there's this real notion of they haven't got much at all. <laughs> Frank's got no job, their house, they don't even own it, and it's falling to pieces, but they've always got each other. It's simple, it's slapstick. Yeah. It, it, it is just funny. I know. I can use the wallpaper from behind Brucey. <laughs> oh, Frank! Do you think 50 years from now we'll look back at anything that's on telly right now with the same nostalgia? Oh, no. Yes! I don't think so. You, you know, if you get four million viewers for a TV show, everyone's delighted. But this is a this is a period of time where 27 million were sitting down to watch it on a Saturday night. That's what's so wonderful about about this and where it came from. How Long's this all going to take? Be patient, Betty. Rome wasn't burnt in a day. Jane McCubbin, yeah. BBC it's News. <laughs> it's back. It's back. It's really, it's really 25 million viewers. Yeah, That's know, incredible, isn't it? We've had a very sitcom morning, haven't we? We, we, we had have. James Corden in the theatre at yeah. the weekend. Uh, watching the penalties with England uh, in front of his audience before he took to the stage. And then we've got uh, Gavin and Stacey. We've got Stacey. She's going to be back with us, but she's also talking about hedgehogs. It's, it's got to be seen to be believed, actually. It has, to, it has to be said. It's a very varied sitcom-heavy <laughs> programme this morning. Sounds a bit like Frank Spencer itself, doesn't it? <laughs>